in Brooklyn. Four hate crimes in one night, leaving the Jewish community on edge. The victims were chased, scared, taunted, in at least one case punched. And now the NYPD is trying to track down the attackers. CBS 2's Valerie Castro with this story that's new at 11. Surveillance video captures a car slowing down as it reaches two pedestrians, a Hasidic couple on 48th Street in Borough Park. The passenger in the car allegedly punches the man before the car speeds away. This is one of four incidents that took place in one night, all those targeted of the Jewish faith. I saw after the Sabbath, I saw these videos of, um, of these, this group of people. They, were, they went and attacked um, a bunch of um, Jews. How did you feel seeing that and hearing about it? It hurt me, you know, my people, you know, it's like, um, you know, I, it hurts me that, you know, that people target Jews like that. Another unprovoked incident took place on New Utrecht Avenue near 53rd. Several suspects jump out of a car and appear to chase their victims across the street. A similar incident happened on 55th Street near 14th Avenue. A suspect sprints across the street and appears to shout at the victims while shining some sort of light at them. And at 51st and 14th Avenue, the suspects can be seen jumping out of a car and are said to be assaulting someone off camera before running back to the vehicle. A resurfacing of good old fashioned anti Semitism. I guess we need more security around here. I don't know. I was kind of shocked. What is also needed is for victims to come forward while the NYPD investigates these cases as hate crimes. I don't see why people wouldn't want to go. I'm saying I would personally go to the police. I'm not sure why people would hesitate to. You know, if we go to the police, you know, we can get people off the streets and we, um, uh, you know, it would definitely be safer. I think it's terrible. I don't, it has to be reported. And people have to report it so that it could, something could be done about it. Call police if you have any information about these incidents and encourage anyone who might have been a victim to report it. In Borough Park, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.